All right, today we are going to be disassembling an ASUS GL503GE. Uh, it's a Republic of Gamers Strix GL503 gaming laptop. All right, to remove the bottom cover, I'm going to be using a small Phillips head. Uh, this one's a 2.5. So once you get the final screw out for the little auxiliary cover here, just pop it the rest of the way out. And looks like we're gonna have a couple more screws for the bottom cover assembly. And then we'll of course remove the hard drive first. Let's pull straight up on that connector and feed out the cable. Once you have the caddy out, there's just two screws on each side to release the hard drive. All right, and then using a flat edge, we will separate the bottom cover from the palm rest. All right, now we can remove the battery. So with this connector, just get those little tabs with your fingernails. and work the connector out. Looks like two more screws holding in the battery and then we should be able to remove it. All right, Wi-Fi card, we'll just pull straight up on those antennas and remove the screw. Looks like there's one memory stick underneath here, so just spread those little retainer bars and pull it out. All right, next we're gonna take out the fans and heat sinks. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the display connector and remove it from the assembly. This is taped on there. Go ahead and release both connectors for the fans. All right, looks like we're clear to take out the screws now. On the heatsink, the screws are numbered, um, but that is only for installation. It does not matter which 
or do we remove the screws for the heat sink? Oops, looks like I have one more screw for this fan underneath the connector. All right, now it looks like I have to uh, remove the hinge screws and flip the hinge up to uh, gain access to the DC jack. Uh, this is a good time just to separate the two halves. So we'll go ahead and remove the display assembly from the palm wrist. the display out from underneath the palm rest and set it aside for now. All right, now we can start removing all of the ribbons holding the motherboard under the palm rest. Once we have those disconnected, we can start removing these screws.
Okay, so the motherboards, it's always good to just gently wiggle them. Um, that way you can see if there's any screws you missed um, without breaking anything. In this case, Asus has some kind of adhesive on the bottom, um, which took a little bit of wiggling to free it. So just keep that in mind. It looks like there's one more ribbon on the bottom that I'm gonna have to get. May or may not be connected to the motherboard. Yeah, it is. Okay, so once we're free, we'll just gently flip it over and make sure we got all the ribbons and everything disconnected before we pull up on it. All right, so the keyboard is non-removable. Um, touchpad, looks like there's just a few screws. And then you have the speakers on either side and the small LED indicator board. So that is it for the palm rest. Now for the uh, display assembly, there's gonna be a couple Phillips head screws underneath the little covers here. Remove the screws and then we'll separate the bezel from the back cover. So the, like most models, we're gonna go ahead and separate the bezel from the back cover. Just find a good spot where you can see the seam between the two. So once you kind of get it started, you can just put this flat edge aside and use your fingers to kind of trace around the edges of the bezel. And there is going to be some adhesive between the LCD and the bezel. So it can be helpful to kind of use your straight edge to get in there and just separate the two. pieces separated just be pretty gentle it's kind of flimsy but as long as you're gentle and work your way around you should be able to get the bezel off no problem all right so we got the LCD uh, webcam Wi-Fi antennas and then the hinges so in this case I can see where the video camera goes it's a combo so it's gonna um, have connectors for the webcam and the LCD 
but in this case it looks like I can just uh, remove the screws for the LCD, fold it over and disconnect it to remove it. Carefully flip it over, and as usual, they held on by a little bit of retaining tape. So get a little corner, and then just gently, especially at the very end, um, pull it off there. second piece of tape underneath the first one so we'll get that layer as well and just at the very end just make sure you do it really slow so it doesn't all of a sudden jerk out and then rip that connector so we can just pull it free little piece of tape right there and then you have your LCD. All right, I'll go ahead and get the hinges off, a couple screws each. the video cable out of the little notches. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and leave the Wi-Fi antennas and the webcam intact. Uh, if you need to remove the webcam, just remember to pry from the bottom, not from either side, because it's pretty weak and flimsy. So that is how you disassemble an Asus ROG Strix uh, GL503. If this video helped you or you liked, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you.